All right, we are back with another Pick'em video. Going to be going over my favorite plays for the NBA today. There are seven games, so definitely some value on the board. Uh, some injuries we got to talk about as well. And uh, I will say lines, especially on prize picks, were moving super fast today. We were talking in the Discord. Lines were getting bumped left and right. Um, so going to do my best to get you guys five plays. Uh, I'm not sure if any of those have been bumped already, but we'll see uh, throughout the video. Um, but also want to say it's Flex Friday. Do not forget to go to this promotions tab. You'll have to click opt in and you'll, then you'll get a uh, free $20, um, like risk free, sorry, $20 play where if you lose, it'll go back in your promo promotion funds or promo funds. And uh, yeah, free play on Flex Friday. Uh, also, it's Freaky Friday over on Underdog. It's pretty much like a Taco Tuesday type thing, but just for Underdog. Um, so if you don't have Underdog, definitely get my link in the description. Use code RICHPIX. You get that $100 deposit match. And then uh, Freaky Friday is going to be up for them. And then over on Sleeper, I don't have anything pulled up for Sleeper, but they are doing a $500 deposit match. They have Wild Card Wednesday uh, every Wednesday, but they're doing it for football. So um, the Wild Card Wednesday lines are already still up. They've been up for a few days. Christian McCaffrey is down from 91.5 to 73.5 rushing yards. And then Josh Allen is down from 227.5 to 187.5 passing yards. So definitely some solid discounts over there as well. If you're not on Sleeper, again, they're doing a $500 deposit match. Uh, use code rich for sleeper any of the if you have any like uh questions or anything they're going to be in the video description so just hit my links it's almost easier for any of the tools i'm using any of the apps that i use um are partnered up with so hit those and check them out these were our video picks these top three so ended up finding these other two later it was a later video i was traveling all day uh but gave you guys these three rj was a tough break i had him in a few slips i think i had him with giddy yeah right here giddy this one, uh, this one sucked. Giddy was like probably my favorite play. RJ was probably my second favorite. And then Jordan Poole's been playing what better? You know, you just got to give him your, give him your flowers, give him his flowers. Um, 24 points against the Knicks. He hadn't been doing that all year, uh, but they made it close against, uh, against a tough team. So uh, one for three, we'll definitely try to bounce back from that, but let's jump into the board. Um, quickly, we'll go over the, the, play, the games, Philadelphia versus Orlando, kind of a battle of some good defenses. Uh, Franz Wagner still out and Gary Harris though. So Orlando's defense is a little bit, um, you know, shaken up a bit. You know, I expect Joel Embiid to, you know, have his way with Goga Batate, probably get a whole bunch of free throws like he usually does. Um, Maxi's assist line, six and a half, I think, is a solid one there. Um, but yeah, both, you know, good teams should be a fun game, five-point spread. San Antonio versus Charlotte, no women Yama in this one. So this should be a, uh, I don't know, I'm not watching this game, that's for sure. Seven and 33 Spurs versus eight and 30 Charlotte Hornets. Uh, not, not very much interest for me. Um, I will say, you know, probably some good spots for some overs. LaMelo will probably have a good game. Uh, Miles Bridges line, I think, is a little bit too high with LaMelo back in the lineup. A um, few different ways you could attack this. Uh, but again, no women Yama. Trey Jones had an 11.5 assist in rebounds line that got bumped pretty quickly. I liked the under on that just because Trey and Wemby got a good connection in terms of assist to scoring. Um, I think I can pull that up right here. But Trey Jones... Yeah, Wim and Yami, he's his top guy his assist wise. Uh, he is getting a few more minutes now, too. Uh, but without Wim and Yama, you know, I like his under on assists probably. It was at seven and a half, uh, down to seven now. So, um, you know, not the best in the world. Jumping over to the next game, Nuggets Celtics. This is the game of the day to watch, that's for sure. You know, battle of uh, you know, the juggernauts in the East and the West. Uh, seven point spread for Boston. They have not lost at home yet. Um, and looks like everyone should be healthy and ready to go. So, that'll be a fun one just to watch in general. Uh, tougher one to bet on just because they're kind of both good defensive teams. Um, and you never really know what can happen. You know, one of those teams going to get really hot blow out the other one. Uh, probably just one I'll be watching and, and kind of staying away from, um, except we do have a play for it, we'll, but I'll show you that in a second. Phoenix, New Orleans, Atlanta, Miami. Uh, no Trey Young for Atlanta. Got to keep in, that in mind. DeJounte Murray first half has been a gold mine, um, just not up yet. So that's something that I'll probably be playing once it does come up. Uh, and then Indiana, Portland. Don't think Siakam's going to play, which if Siakam doesn't play, I don't think Halliburton's going to play. Uh, but we'll see. You got to got to keep in mind about these. I don't think they have any lines up uh, for Portland. You know, this could be a good spot, especially if these guys don't play. They you know play fast, so um, could be a good spot for some Portland guys. Brooklyn and then LA. Uh, this is the last game of the night, and uh, definitely some some value in this one for sure. Uh, I like Nicholas Claxton tonight, um, but again, we'll talk about him as we go over the picks. Uh, so a little you know recap of the game. So what we got going on. I'm going to go chronologically here, give you guys five plays that I like. Um, again, going to give you the analysis on top of these plays. Some of them you probably won't agree with, maybe won't agree with, uh, and then others you might agree with. So, you know, kind of putting our brains together 
Uh, if I like a line and you like a line based on the analysis of things that I give you, uh, maybe go with it. You don't have to just tail the five I give you. I just want to give you guys the most value I can in uh, each video. Uh, so let's go to Porzingis. Talked about uh, maybe going to that Celtics game in, in one way or another. I'm going to go to this 9.5 rebounds and assists. I'm going to go under here. Uh, now, the, the total points is set at 235, I think. 234. So that's expecting, what, 112 points by each team. Uh, and the reason that Porzingis goes over this line typically is his assists have been, you know, higher recently. So let's go check out this line. I don't think he's going to get a whole bunch of rebounds. He doesn't typically get a whole bunch of rebounds. And against the Nuggets, a team that doesn't give up a ton, uh, including the centers. So uh, 2023 as a whole, he's gone under this in 19 to 30 games. But again, a whole lot of red more recently. Uh, but you can see it's five assists here in a, in a game that the Celtics put up 145 points. So again, I don't expect them to put up 145 points tonight. This is another seven assist game, 133 to 131. Again, really high scoring if we're, if we're expecting, you know, 110 to 110 around that area. Um, I don't expect seven assists from him. Even in the games that he got four assists right here, he only had two rebounds. Um, and then obviously he can you know, go ahead and grab rebounds. But uh, I, you know, I like the assist line being lower. It's at two and a half. So uh, the rebounds assist at nine and a half just seems a little bit too high. Uh, and again, been going under this pretty consistently all year. And uh, the odds are liking it as well. It's a great matchup for the under. Uh, here. So uh, I don't, I'm not worried about the assists. It's, it'll be if he goes out and rebounds the ball well. Um, but again, the Nuggets are good. They should be hitting their shots and they don't give up a whole bunch of rebounds anyway. So uh, liking this line for Porzingis. Let's go to his odds though. Check him out over here. This is Daily Grind Fantasy, one of my sponsors. They have a fantasy optimizer just like Odd Jam has a fantasy optimizer. Um, they also have a correlation tool. So if you're interested in any of these tools that I'm using, again, check out the links in the description. But Porzingis showing up right here. This gives us a nice market value. Uh, you could get the idea of a market value just by looking at where all the other sports books have their lines. That's the that's the use for fantasy optimizers. 53.45% chance on the under. So loving to see that. Uh, minus 125 over on FanDuel. Minus 130 on DraftKings. Minus 140 on BetMGM. So uh, this could be one that gets bumped. So I'm tacking it early. Again, I like it. Just makes sense to me uh, in terms of like game script and how the game might go. Uh, his hit rate looks low as well. So I like it. I don't think the projection model is going to like it. If we go over to Rotowire, again, another sponsor of the channel. This is actually a completely free tool right now. I think they're still like, you know, working out there. It's a newer tool. So definitely take advantage of this. If you just hit my link in the description, though, it will let them know that I sent you there. Let's go to Porzingis. Uh, I'm going to see his, where are we at? Rebounds and assists. Yeah, so they are in the, they are in the over here, 10.24. But again, we looked at the hit rate. We, we've seen like where the odds are looking like. Uh, this again will probably get bumped down to nine. So if you want to take you know the over on this, or if you want to just fade it, that's fine. Uh, but if you were thinking about the over, I'd wait till this probably gets bumped to nine um, over on Prize Fix. So I like it still under nine and a half. Looks pretty solid for Porzingis here. Uh, and then moving along again, kind of try to stay chronologically like I typically do. Uh, let's go to Nick Richards. He actually plays earlier, seven ten for him. Ten and a half boards here. Going to go under. Um, I'm a big Nick Richards guy. I'm also a big Mark Williams guy just because, I don't know, they get a lot of minutes over on Charlotte. Uh, Mark Williams obviously injured. Now, 10 and a half, eh, that's what his not, line has not been at. So he's been at seven and a half pretty recently. Now he's going up against the Spurs without Wim and Yama. That is definitely something to think about. But uh, I think it's just too high. I think it's gone up a little bit too much. And uh, let's go check out his page. He's only hit this a few times all year. Um, and they were against different, like difficult you know, centers here. Uh, so the lines that he's going up against, it's, you know, against Big Vooch. That's a, that's a pretty tough matchup in terms of centers. Um, another one, this 15 weight rebound game was against Jokic. Uh, so the, the games he's going over, he's really just, you know, battle of the big zing down there. Um, looks like Zach Collins might be back in this one. So, you know, maybe he is, you know, banging him up or uh, <laughs> banging him up, um, you know, banging down low with him. Uh, but, you know, very consistently on the under here, 27 to 32 games. You know, more recently, let's say the last 20 games since Mark Williams has been out, uh, still under 80% of the games. So you might go out and grab 10. I just don't think he's getting that 11th one. And it uh, just looks like it's been inflated a little bit too much. Obviously, rebounds allowed. They give up a whole bunch. That includes to centers. Um, but, you know, head to head, do they face each other this year? They, they had eight uh, back in the 12th. That must have been with Wimanyama. Um, so we do have a data point, you know, there, 22 minutes uh, in a game that the Spurs dominated. So... 
yeah, I like the under here. Um, it's not my favorite line in the world, but you know, the odds are liking it. The hit rate's incredible. It will just be, you know, if he plays a whole bunch of minutes, then maybe this burns us. But let's go to the optimizer, see his uh, odds, the market value around this line. Uh, Nick Richards. We're seeing under 10.5 rebounds. Uh, looks like Pinnacle's got this at 10 point. Everyone's got this at 10.5, but it's around minus 130 or minus 135 value. So definitely some great market value for us, uh, taking it over on prize picks in a five-man flex. Um, so yeah, I'm loving this Nick Richards line. Do want to see what the, the uh, optimize or the uh, projection model is saying. Let's see, 10.5. Okay, so they're at 10.66. So another one, they are projecting a tiny bit on the over, uh, but the hit rate's been incredible. Again, tough or easier matchup against the Spurs, uh, but I like it. You know, you don't have to go when all of these are in unison, uh, but it is nice when they are. So that's two plays that I'm really liking right off the bat. Uh, the projection model is not our friend on these two, but um, still sticking with them. The odds and the hit rates and all that other stuff looks pretty good. Uh, so moving along here, again, three more plays. Uh, going to be going to CJ McCollum, uh, one of my favorite plays of the day. I think he's going to have a great game going against Phoenix. And uh, fantasy score looks a little bit too low. Uh, and these are good because these lines do get bumped, but they're um, people just bet on them less, I want to say. There's not a lot a uh, of markets that have them out, but the lines that do or the markets that do are showing us that this is a little bit too low. So going over his 33.5 fantasy score, uh, this is another, you know, edge kind of that uh, daily grind fantasy has um, because they include fantasy scores in their fantasy optimizer. Uh, Odds Jam does not include fantasy score. It is much more, uh, you know, sports book based. So if you were someone that bets on sports books, FanDuel, DraftKings and things like that, I highly recommend Odds Jam because sports betting plus positive EV over there is amazing. Uh, but, you know, the Fantasy Optimizer over here does have a seven day free trial if you want to check that out. Whereas uh, if you want to do daily grind, definitely go ahead and try that as well. You won't get that uh, seven day free trial, but you will get 25% off your first month. Um, so, yeah, check them out. Uh, let's go to Nickel or yeah, I'm not Nicholas Claxton, CJ McCollum. We'll see his, I don't know why, sometimes you got to refresh these things. We'll see that his fantasy score line is def definitely just a little bit too low um, in terms of everywhere else. Oh, fantasy score 33.5. Looks like DraftKings has this at the 34.3. And then Bavada's got this at 34.9. So 53.38% chance based on these other two lines being, you know, much higher, you know, almost a whole point higher. That's a pretty big difference in terms of fantasy score. And uh, I bet the projection model is on my side for this one. Um, if we go to McCollum, fantasy score, yeah, right on top, predicting pretty highly on the more side. Uh, they're projecting 36.4. Hit rate's been incredible. Um, and we'll go check out like what he's been doing in terms of points, rebounds, and assists, and things like that over on Outlier. Uh, but good to see that the hit rate, including the fantasy score, uh, pretty good, 80% of the last five. 85% uh, against opponents for his career too. So a uh, great spot for him. Again, the the Suns are full health or, or they um, they got all their guys. So that's something to think about. Uh, but in terms of the spread, I think it's like a five point spread. We'll check that out in a second. Points, rebounds, assists, 27 and a half. Again, he's been you know pretty solid on this. Uh, this includes, you know, for fantasy score, it also includes blocks and steals and things like that. So that's, uh, you know, baked into this. But 61% of the time, he's gone over this points, rebounds, assist line. Um, so we're definitely getting a solid, you know, edge here. Um, but again, we saw the hit rate over on Rotowire in terms of the uh, fantasy score line. So uh, everything looks good for McCollum. Uh, you know, points allowed in terms of this Phoenix team is 15th. So middle of the road rebounds, and assists, you know, nine and one. They are pretty good in terms of not giving up too many stats. Uh, but the Pelicans are two and a half point favorites here, actually. So uh, should be a close one. Should be a fun game. And uh, I like McCollum. He's been he's been a cash cow kind of all season. And uh, his fantasy score line is just too low right now. So that's going to be my third play. Moving along here, getting you guys two more. Let's go to Mikhail Bridges. Going to his 24. Ah, that's why I couldn't find it. So it's 23 and a half now. Um, we'll check it out. I'll show you guys why I liked it. Again, I got it at 24.0. Was really liking that value here. Um, but he has not been scoring well all season pretty much. You know, he's, he's a guy that got traded last year at the deadline. Uh, played like an all-star, and then this year kind of has underperformed um, from what he did in those you know three months after the all-star break last year. Um, again, we can see the points, 23 and a half. 2023 has gone under this in 73% of the games. That's pretty insane right there. Uh, and this is at the 23 and a half mark. This isn't even including the 24s. This would be a push. This would be a push. Um, so yeah, he's been scoring well, you know, a little bit recently, had 42-point explosion. 
against Portland, though. Uh, and then 26 and 26 against Cleveland and Miami. Um, so maybe he's finding his groove a little bit. Um, but again, minutes have been pretty consistent around 34 minutes per game. Uh, and, you know, he's going to score. If he scores 20, 21, 22, doesn't hurt us. You just can't get that 24th one. And uh, going against the Lakers, you know, it's not the, the best matchup in the world, but pretty mediocre in terms of points allowed. Uh, so I'm liking this spot for him. Um, it's, on the, it's on the road. Not sure if that matters. 80% of away games, uh, he's been under this. So that's, you know, maybe another good mark here. Um, it's a seven-point spread. So maybe, you know, if LA goes crazy, they blow him out here. That'd be nice for us as well. Um, but yeah, Mike and McHale under, everything pointing towards the under. And uh, we'll go to the optimizer, but it's not going to have him at 24 anymore. That's kind of why I took it. But you can see if it's still if it's still looking at the under um, at this 23 and a half line. Let's go to McHale Bridges. Internet wants to load right here. So rebounds and assists, they're saying the over here. Points and assists, this looks like his quote unquote best under if you want to still look at it, the under uh, after the bump. But, but they're still looking at the under. 23.5 is still on the under, 51.49% chance to hit. Uh, again, you know, we saw the matchup, we saw the hit rates and things like that. So I'm liking it still just at the 23 and a half. If you want to shift to 27 and a half, I wouldn't mind that at all. But let's go to the Rotowire projection. I think this one's going to be on our side just because uh, they haven't been liking them all year. Points 23 and a half. Yeah, they're very much on the under. They're expecting 20.24. Uh, again, this might be a little bit of a sweaty one. He's going to be scoring the ball. He's a scorer, uh, but just the line is a little bit too high. So Mikhail Bridges is going to be our fourth play. And let's go get our fifth and final play. Going to be in the same uh, team here. So if you want to split these guys up, I don't mind it because we're going over for one and under for another. Uh, Nicholas Claxton, 11.0 rebounds. Uh, this is one that you'll see right on the bat. Looking a lot of green. So again, I don't I don't look at these and think, oh my gosh, sometimes I take all red play. Like sometimes I would take this under if it looked good the other way. But LA against centers gives up a whole bunch of rebounds. Let's check out what Claxton's been doing this year, especially recently. And then uh, we'll check out his matchup and things like that. Nicholas Claxton. Let's go find his rebounds line. It's going to be showing up at 11 and a half over here. That's a good sign for us because uh, that's probably where all the, all the, uh, the other books are at. So this is something to look at. Sometimes I look at these uh, push lines and I see, you know, which, wh which way is it weighted? 11.5, uh, they're giving us a minus 125 odds to go under, but the over 10 and a half is minus 165. So again, we don't, we're not getting hurt if we get 11. 11 doesn't hurt us, it's a push. We just want that extra one. So it's nice to see that it's much more likely that he goes over 10 and a half than under 11 and a half. So uh, hit rate's been incredible. Nine of the last 10 games, he's gone over this. These two, three games would have been pushes. Um, so that is something to note. But like I said, matchup looks great in terms of rebounds allowed. 20th to centers, 26th. Um, and then the head-to-head, -head, think he did play these guys. Yeah, they played the guys um, last year. So take this with a grain of salt. But good to know that he is capable of rebounding against this team. And this was January, actually before the trade deadline. So just good to see that you know against AD and those guys, he should be able to rebound the ball. 2023 as a whole, he's been about 50-50. I uh, did start off the year with a minutes limit and has now been slowly, you know, building up to around 33, 34 minutes, what he typically should be doing. Um, but again, like I stated in the underline, this is a seven point spread should, should not be a blowout, uh, but you never really expect them these days. Uh, and they had just happened. Um, so expecting, you know, if this one stays relatively close, even if it's a 15 point game, as long as Clax is getting, you know, 30 minutes or so, he should be able to get this line. Um, and loving the matchup and the hit rate and everything. So let's go to, did I already go to the optimizer? I did not. Let's go to Claxton over here. Odds are looking great as well. Market value over here. So blocks and seals at 2.5 is also popping up. This is a newer line. I don't think this was up before. So if that's something you want to look at, uh, maybe look into the hit rates and things like that. But over 11.0 rebounds, 51.92% chance to hit. Everywhere else has got this 11.5. That's always good to see. So we're getting some great value and a discount at that 11.0 mark. Finally, let's go to Rotowire, get that projection model in here. Uh, Claxton, 11.0. They're projecting a 13.1. Again, hit rate popping up. Incredible 80% weighted hit rate. Uh, everything on the over on this line, so I love it. And uh, yeah, again, we talked about the hit rate, the matchup, all these things. So those are our five plays. Uh, again, want to get you guys as much value as possible. I don't typically just give two plays out like I know a lot of other YouTubers do, which is totally fine if they do that. Um, their hit rate probably looks great on their channel. It's not easy to hit two mans, but it's much easier to hit two mans and to hit all five of your, uh, all five of your plays in a five man. This is a, a play that I'm running out. 
uh, albeit the Mikhail Bridges line did get bumped down from 24 to 23.5. Uh, but I just try to give you guys as much value as possible. Again, put our minds together. If I like a line and you don't like it, you don't have to take it. But Porzingis under 9.5 at rebounds and assists. Nick Richards under 10.5 points. CJ McCollum over 33.5 fantasy score. Mikhail Bridges under 23.5 points. And then Claxton over 11.0 rebounds. That's going to do it. Again, check out any of the links in the description for any of the tools I was using. A lot of them have free trials. Some of them have discounts uh, and some of them have both. So check those out. Uh, any if you're if you're not on underdog, if you're not on sleeper, if you're not on chalkboard, check those out for 100 percent deposit match. They're all doing um, promotions right now. Actually, it's Freaky Friday over on underdog. It is wildcard Wednesday. Still, we're getting those discounts for the uh, weekend uh, football games. So check that out on sleeper and then chalkboards. The other one. They have alt lines. They also give promotions at us pretty much all day. They just put put lines down where you're able to uh, bet on some pretty much free square uh, alt lines. Now they they bump the payout down a little bit, but that's to be expected when you're getting Jason Tatum and you're able to put that into parlay. Jason Tatum at 12 and a half points or whatever. Obviously, that's going to hit, and it's nice to get that 1.1x to just throw into your parlay. So uh, they all have their perks. They all have their promotions. I definitely highly recommend you know utilizing all of them. Uh, but that will do it. Hopefully you make some money tonight. And uh, we got football this weekend. So let's get excited for that. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.